What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to make any video look cinematic very quickly. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I have my clip right here and I shot this in the 60 frames per second and that's what I suggest for anyone wanting to make cinematic videos. Having a camera that shoots 60 frames per second is amazing uh, because when you put it in slow motion, it's super duper smooth. So my sequence frame rate is 30 frames per second, so if I press command R and change the speed to 50% it'll be in slow motion and it'll be super duper smooth okay so that's already looking really good you want to make sure that you keep your hand really steady when you're shooting and then what I'm gonna do is press command D to nest the sequence and we'll press OK and now we're gonna add some warp stabilizer on this so let's search up warp stabilizer in effects and put it on our clip and it's just gonna analyze the clip so that it can make it smoother and just stabilize the clip. So once Warp Stabilizer has finished working its magic, it looks pretty good. And then what you're gonna do is make a new adjustment layer and then put it over all of your clips. And then we're gonna go to Lumetri Color and we're gonna go and add some color grading because every good cinematic sequence has some really good color grading. I just released a new cinematic LUT pack. It's only $5, link in the description. Um, and so this LUT is from my LUT pack, and yep, it already looks really good. Another thing I suggest is shooting flat on your camera. Shooting in a really flat profile setting helps you color grade easily and um, make it look a lot better in post. Okay, so now one thing we can do is add some cool light leaks and stuff. This is where you can have fun with it. Add some nice light leaks for transitions or, I don't know, just make it look prettier. This reminds me of Taylor Cut Films. You can get a lot from the internet, you can get some from YouTube, uh, just search up free light leaks. Last but not least, a lot of people use the letterbox effect for their cinematic sequence, so I have a letterbox effect downloaded from the internet, but if not, you can also actually just create a new color mat and make sure it's at black, and then press OK and then bring that over your clips and then we're gonna go to effects and search up crop and put it on the color mat and then we're gonna hold all on the color mat and then put it on the next video line so we have two copies okay so I'm gonna put the eye off for the bottom color mat and then at the top color mat I'm gonna change the top setting to around 90 and then we'll go to the bottom color mat and then change the bottom setting to 90 so now it has a nice letterbox effect so yeah, that's basically how you can make a cinematic sequence so quickly. Uh, it's super easy and it looks really nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.